So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. Do you remember how the last Indiana Jones movie ended? Sure, he rode off into the sunset. It was a great way to say bye to the character. It sure was, sir. Perfect ending, in fact. So I thought we could bring him back. Is that really such a good idea? Kind of feels like we should leave the character be, you know? I mean, what if we mess it up? Well, I mean, what if money, though? That's a good point. Yeah, no, I'm interested. Great. So how does this thing start? Well, I figure a cool way to start would be to show a prairie dog that was clearly made on a computer. What? And then we're gonna see Indiana Jones, but it's 1957 now, so he's old. Right, because of how time works? Exactly, yeah. So he's been captured by this evil Soviet lady, Irina, and her soldiers. Okay. And they want help finding this dead alien that's being kept inside a government warehouse. Wow, and how does he find it? Well, these aliens have skulls that are, like, magnetic when I need them to be for the plot. What do you mean? Well, sometimes people's guns get stuck to them so Indy can escape, but usually they just sit around and do nothing. Oh, very cool. So anyway, thanks to magnetism, Indy helps them find this alien, but then he escapes. Wow, so where does he go? Well, he finds himself in a nuclear test village with a bomb that's about to go off in like 30 seconds. Well, if we're gonna kill him off, that is a pretty dramatic way to do it. Oh no, he's not gonna die. What? You know, he goes inside this fridge, right? And because it's lined with lead, he survives a massive explosion, insanely high temperatures, crazy amounts of radiation, and being launched like a hundred feet into the air and violently bouncing around several times. Times. So I don't really understand anything about science, but if I'm understanding correctly, lead is magic. Lead is magic, yeah, that's right. Wow, 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 wow. So then Indy goes back home, but he gets fired from his job, because now the FBI thinks he's a communist. Oh, so he's on a watch list and stuff? Yeah, super serious stuff. So then Indy gets on a train, and this young guy, Mutt, shows up, and he's like, I need your help. How did he know Indy was gonna be on that train? Oh, extremely unclear. Oh, okay. So Mutt tells Indy that his mom and this Professor Oxley guy were kidnapped, and they were looking for for a crystal skull. Okay. So Mutt and Indy fly down to the Amazon together. Isn't he being watched by the FBI? He sure is, but apparently that doesn't affect travel in any way. Oh, well, good. So they go track down this crystal skull, but this dude pops out, and let me tell you, he's got one of those poison dart blowy things. Uh-oh. Yeah, so Indy pops out, and he blows the dart backwards into the guy's mouth, so he gets poisoned. What? Is it a double-sided dart? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I just thought it'd be cool. It does sound cool. So then they get the skull, but then they get picked up by the Soviet bad guys. Oh no. Yeah, and then we meet Mutt's mom, and it turns out it's Marion Ravenwood from the first movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and it turns out her and Indy are still in love, and Mutt is their son. Wow, okay, yeah, no, sure, I feel nothing. Oh, uh, okay, I was kind of hoping for a bigger reaction. No, no. Okay, so anyway, now they're rolling through the jungle, and in front of all the cars there's this tree-cutting machine, and it's like making a road for them. Very cool. But then Indy shoots the thing with a rocket, and that leads to this huge car chase through the jungle. How is there a chase through the jungle if he blew up the thing that makes roads. I don't know. Fair enough. So this car chase is gonna go on for super long. Like, Mutt's gonna have a big sword fight with Irina, the skull is gonna switch hands like a bunch of times. Very exciting. But then Mutt's gonna get stuck in some vines. Uh-oh, so he's out of the chase? Actually, no, because he immediately bonds with some monkeys and then swings on some vines and catches up. He swings faster than speeding vehicles? That's what we're going with. And now that he's friends with the monkeys, they attack the bad guys. Oh, monkeys that know which characters of the protagonists are tight. They sure are. So anyway, then all the cars get to this cliff. Oh man, it's gonna be hard to get away from the bad guys with a frickin' cliff in the mix. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, Marion spotted a tree earlier, so she just drives down onto that, and then their car is also a boat. And that works no problem? It works with absolutely no problem. The tree even snaps back and takes out a couple of bad guys. Wow. But then they have to go down three massive waterfalls. Uh-oh, so what do they do? They go down three massive waterfalls. But do they prepare in any way, or are there any consequences? No, they just go down three massive waterfalls, and everything's fine. Well, okay then. Anyway, so eventually they get to this crazy pyramid throne room where they have to return the skull, right? Right. But then the bad guys catch up with them again. And what are they trying to do? Well, they want to return the crystal skull to the throne room. Right, so everybody's just trying to do the same thing here. Yep, pretty much. So then Irina puts the skull onto this alien skeleton thing that's missing its head. How did this skull get out of this room in the first place? Unclear, but then this skeleton merges with a bunch of other skeletons and becomes an alien. Oh, it does that, okay. And then Irina's eyeballs turn to light and a spaceship appears from under the throne room and then it disappears into another dimension. Okay, 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 but what if literally anything else happened? Well, that would probably be better, but we're gonna go with this. Somehow that works for me. So then everybody lives happily ever after. Indy gets married and he gets his old job back. Well, wait, what happened with the FBI thinking he's a Soviet spy? Well, no, everything's okay now because he saved the day. 
day. Is there any proof that he did? Not at all. Not even a little. But he's still off the hook? He is, yeah, 100%. Well, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you think? Well, I mean, hopefully people don't think we're pushing it too much with a fourth Indiana Jones movie. Well, I mean, I think a fourth one will be okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess if we work on a fifth, then that's clearly a cash grab, right? Hey guys, it's Ryan here. Hope you like that pitch meeting. There are over a hundred pitch meetings on the channel, so check some of those out. You can also let me know in the comment section what other movies you'd like to see pitch meetings for. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share on Twitter, Facebook, uh, all, all the stuff that helps out a lot. As always, check back soon for a new pitch. Bye bye